Okay, we're moving on. Um, I want to want you to pay attention to this metal strap that's on this pipe right here, and also right there on that flex pipe going to the heat and the air. Um, that is correct. Over here, one we have this big return. Well, we got this big return that runs from over there all the way back down to the heating and air system here and there is no metal strapping supporting this return right here we put some blocks up under it right now for temporary but right over there let me see if y'all get a better view right here they had a piece of plywood up beside the return and what that did is and you see the there's a hole up in there that's that's where the return comes from the house down into the return pipe here well they had it all uh, a piece of plywood and, and uh, all caulked and everything of course for us to fix our joists we have to take it down but <laughs> it uh it's not the right way. I'm not a heat and air guy, but I know it's not the right way. And I also know that a return this size needs to be supported by some metal straps. And you look here, we got the uh, pipes here going to the, each vent inside the house. No supports on those right there. So obviously it didn't take but a little bit of bump and they came down. So there's been a new flex line ran here and it does have a metal support on it. Long story short, I'm gonna go get some metal bracketry and I'm gonna support this return up. And I'm gonna put these pipes back on the way they're supposed to be, tape them and put metal supports on them too. So there's not, not an issue with them coming down anymore. That's how they should have been done to begin with. But now, that I'm under here working, it, it becomes my problem, or at least I think so. And I can't leave it like that once I've seen it. But to get back to the original job, uh, we've lifted the, there's the chimney. We've lifted this floor up, got the ledger attached back to the girder, got the joist attached back to the ledger all the way down that's two rooms we've lifted up <laughs> and so now pretty much we're ready to lift the girder but before i lift the girder i'm gonna go over the kitchen and straight over there in front of us and i'm gonna go ahead lift those joists a little bit because it's dropping in the corner and go ahead and put bracketry on the ledger to the joist and go ahead and and mount, remount the ledger to the girder so there's full support there and do what I can to add the additional support to a repair that looks like someone has done uh, not too long ago. They put a couple additional support piers in. We're just going to make sure those are adequate <coughs> for long term. So um, also one thing I want to say, look, look at these suits that we're wearing. It's very dusty under here. We have face mask on, headlamps, and... You know, those are things you want to have on for safety reasons when you're working under here. Also, safety glasses. But like I said, this is just how I do it. This is not an instructional video. Not intended for you to follow my instructions and do a job. It's intended for you to see how I do it. And if it helps you, it helps you. But I'll see you when we do the next update.